Okay, so we are decluttering blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and just to give you a forewarning, we might not be able to do this in one video because I've got products here, then I have more products down here, and then we're just gonna come over here. Don't judge the beauty space because we're just in shambles right now. I have products in here. So we're just gonna work our way through and then if I have to do a two part, we just gotta do a two part. So I wanna start here first, cause I think there's a lot of products in here that I can go ahead and comfortably declutter because I will say I probably use the products down here the least. So we're gonna pull, let's just get with these Esam highlighters. So Esam sent me these highlighters. They're really, really beautiful. Um, so this is the shade called Serenity. This is like a rose gold shade. Then I have this more like traditional gold shade right here. And this is called Clarity. And this last one is called Majesty. This is a deeper one. So I'm gonna give this one either to my niece or my mom because I know they can enjoy it. And I'll also give this one, um, I think my sister will really enjoy this one. And I'll keep the more gold champagne. It's a really beautiful baked formula. So this is nice. Haven't had time to play with this one too much. I know this was Riley. So we're gonna put this off to the side. So we've got oop, some blushes from ColourPop. So ColourPop um, from time to time sends me some of their PR. So this is in their Super Shock Cheek called Jump Turn. This one is in the shade called 360. Their, um, uh, their blushes are actually really nice. So I probably will keep this shade, see if my niece wants this shade. My niece has a deeper complexion that I think that will look really pretty on. This is a highlighter dust from Il Maquillage. This is really pretty. Um, like I've said in other declutters, I do some work from them from time to time. So I am gonna keep this one, but this is a really pretty formula. All right. My blushes from Lila B. I loved these cream blushes, but I've had these for about three years and they are definitely dried out. So I'm gonna declutter all of them. Um, I, probably, I have a few more like sprinkled out, so I'll go ahead and declutter them. Then we have some blushes from Chantecai. So this one is actually empty because it broke, but I do have some refills. So I am gonna keep the empty one. Um, because if you didn't know what their blushes, you can um, take them out of the pan and just buy the refills if you already have like one of their, if I could say full size blushes. So I'm gonna keep that. Oh guys, this is a Becca uh, highlighter. This is Moonstone. Now I feel like I wanna keep, oh this is pretty. Oh, the, this is pretty, I gotta keep this one. Becca highlighters are still some of my favorite, believe it or not. Okay, here's another Chantecai blush, and it's empty. This one's empty, so I'm gonna keep it because I don't know how many refills of Chantecai blushes that I have. Um, okay, so here's, here's an actual blush from Chantecai. Um, this one is in the shade called Joy, and with Chantecai blushes, they're definitely more lighter in pigmentation and more of just like a diffused type of blush if uh, that's the type of blush that you do like. I do like this one, so I'm gonna keep this. Oh, here's a Lila B cream highlighter. This is really, really pretty actually, but I've had it for like a few years and I don't reach for it anymore, so I will declutter it. Oh, this is like, oh, y'all, this highlighter was such a favorite of mine. So this was by, this is by MAC. They did a collaboration with Mariah Carey and this is in the shade called Here Comes Joy. I used to always wear this around the holidays and I feel like <laughs> I don't wanna let it go. Let me just do a quick swatch. Yeah, it's not much coming out of it. Like, I don't even know if you can, you probably can see just a little bit of a sheen, but I think it's time to let her go. She's, she's, she served her purposes. Oh, but this was like, I just like sometimes reserve that highlighter for the holidays. I have another Becca highlight in the shade called Topaz. This is really pretty, but I'm gonna see if my niece will like this one as well. I think it'll match her complexion better. And then we have the infamous Champagne Pop, and this one has dropped, so it's almost coming out the pan. I'm most definitely keeping Champagne Pop. Like, this is still one of my favorite highlighters of all time. Champagne Pop by Becca, so that's going nowhere. Um, this is a highlighter by Sonia Kashuk, 
and this is in the shade called Goddess. Um, I bought this off of a recommendation from Raquel. He's one of Beyonce's makeup artists, and he was like, he loves using this to kind of like buff in another highlighter that he adds to the face. I, however, have never used it. Um, it's a pretty, oh, it's beautiful. Now this probably may be even too deep for me. What was I? I can't wear that as nobody's highlight. That is too deep. So I'm gonna see if my niece wants it, but it's a smooth formula. I mean, it's beautiful. All right, I have a Tom Ford blush and highlighter duo. This is in the shade called Paradise Lust. I used to love this. Do I want to keep it? I think I want to declutter it. I think I'm going to declutter it. Um, I love the highlighter. The blush wasn't too impressive, but this highlighter is so pretty. Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. Shoot. That highlighter, it's so, so pretty. I'm going to declutter it, though, because I do have another Tom Ford highlighter duo that I can enjoy more than this one. So we'll declutter it. Sleep one. Done. Moving on. So here is a... Fenty Beauty, um, what do you call it? Diamond Balm, and this is in the shade Fenty Glow. I love the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm, so definitely keeping this. The Fenty Beauty Cream Blushes. I really enjoyed these when they came out. I don't reach for them at all anymore, and with their formula, I do feel like they kind of dry out a bit too, so I'm gonna declutter all of my Fenty Beauty Cream Blushes. This is in the shade called Strawberry Drip, but honestly, being very truthful, I would repurchase them again, most definitely. So it's not that I don't like them, it's just that I've had them for a while and I feel like they're kind of drying out a bit. This is the shade called Summertime Wine. This is one of my this was one of my favorite shades, and so was Strawberry Drip. Those were the ones I used the most. I have some minted highlighters, I mean not highlighters, blushes. They were some of my favorite a few years ago. This is in the shade called Peach for the Stars. I am gonna declutter my minted blushes as well, just because I've had them for a very long time. But I got some good use out of it, out of them. This is Buried Away, a nice, beautiful, rich shade. Clay Too Much, I think this was like my favorite one. I like, I like to use this one as a bronzer. And then Pinky Promise was another favorite one. It's like NARS Orgasm. This is a um, glowy powder in the shade called Rose Dew by Pixie. It has broken. Um, this formula was nice, but it wasn't one that I reached for, so I'll declutter this one. My Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade called Caramel. No, yeah, Caramel Cutie. I'm gonna declutter this one because I've had this one for a long time, and I've noticed with the Fenty Beauty bronzers, after about a couple of years, it starts to get, the formula gets kind of dry. And since I have the bronzer palette, I'm gonna keep that and declutter this one. Here is another Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. This one has um, actually been discontinued. This was in the shade called Halo Holla At Me. I bought this one when I was in Europe a couple of years ago. Oh, three years ago. So keeping this one. Oh, we've got some Dior highlighters. Love this one. So this is in the shade called Coral Glow. I actually like to use this highlighter as a blush because you can see it has more of a pinky base to it. Keeping that. And then this one is called Golden Glow. This one I use as more so of a traditional highlighter. Really, really beautiful. Here's a Fenty Beauty infamous highlighter. And how could I forget this shade? Trophy Wife. So I am very perplexed with this. I don't wear this at all. I can't wear it as a highlighter. It's a little, it's like, it's not in a shade that I would wear, but I feel like I need to keep it. And that's why I keep it. So I'm gonna keep it because I feel like I need to keep it. Like, you know, maybe one day I might, I don't know y'all. I just feel like I need to keep it. <laughs> Here's another Diamond Balm by Fenty Beauty in the shade called Cognac Candy. Is it Cognac Candy? Yeah, Cognac Candy, love this one. I like to use this one on my face, but also on my body in the summertime, ugh, scrumptious. Here's a Merit Highlighter Stick. So this is in the shade called Citrine, and this is really, really pretty. I'm gonna put this right here. Oh, look how pretty that is. I did not get to wear this as much as I wanted to um, when I first got it, so I'm definitely keeping this. It's a really beautiful silky formula. 
I've got a couple of these highlighters from Range Beauty. I love Range Beauty. They've updated their packaging. So this is the shade called Froze. Froze is my favorite. I can use this one as a highlighter, but also as a blush. And then this shade is called No Shade. Very similar to uh, Trophy Wife by Fenty Beauty. They've updated their packaging. So I'm gonna declutter these and get their other packaging because the packaging is a little better and less messy. The newer packaging. And then here's another one by, oh, I forgot the shade of this one, but I love this one. Definitely gonna pick up another one of this, this one. I wish I could take this sticker off. I can't, I can't take the sticker off, but it's a really beautiful shade. Love it. I use that one mostly on the eyes because it's a little deep for the face. Here is the Shantagai Sunbeam Cheek and Eyeshadow product in the shade called Ray. And if I could just open it up. Here it goes. So this is really pretty. I am gonna keep this one because this is a really pretty uh, product. I like to use this as a highlighter. Then we have a blush by Item Beauty. Um, these blushes I bought because this is the shade called I'm Crushing. Everybody was raving about how beautiful they are and they really are beautiful. I didn't reach for it too much, but I think I wanna keep it simply because I didn't reach for it a lot and I think I just bought them and tucked them away. I don't want to give them a chance. Another one of my Fenty, favorite Fenty Beauty um, blush shades is this one called Drama Class. Oh, this purple shade is so pretty. So decluttering it, but definitely would repurchase. Um, here's another one called Daiquiri Dip. Decluttering. I bought them all, so. <laughs> Rose Latte. I'll declutter that one as well. Fuego Flush was another favorite, decluttering. And then this is a highlighter in the shade called Sandcastle. I like this one. This is like a, almost a cooler tone type of highlighter. It came out in like one of the holiday kits. I like this one, so I'm gonna keep it. Oh, look at the NARS Orgasm. I have a mini size of it. Oh, I'm gonna declutter it. I don't use this anymore, not because I don't like it, I just don't use it anymore, so we'll declutter it. It's so cute though. Natasha Denona Rose Cheek Duo. Oh, and it's broken. Didn't realize that, but I'm gonna declutter it. This shade just is kind of meh. The highlighter is pretty, but I'm not gonna keep it. And it's broken. Oh, this Shantakai highlighter. Oh, such a favorite. And I'm gonna keep it for sure. This is the Eclat powder. Um, yeah, the Eclat Brilliant Face Powder. This is such a stunning highlighter. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep it because it's gorgeous. It looks so silky and like glass-like on the cheeks. Here's a Shantakai Radiant Cheek Duo and highlighter in the shade called Coral. And I, hmm, I don't use it, so I'm gonna declutter it. I'm gonna see if I can give this to someone because I didn't really use it too much. And I feel like we've got a lot of life left in it, but I don't use it, so. Gotta see if I can share the love with that one. Here is a Nabla highlighter in the shade called Amnesia. And I am gonna declutter this one because I just didn't use it. I think I might have used this twice, max. Um, but it's a beautiful formula. I just, I don't, I don't use it. Here is a palette by uh, ColourPop. So it's a cheek palette in the shade called Tea Cakes. I actually want to use this one. All of these shades are shades that I would wear. This is a beautiful highlighter shade, so definitely keeping this. Just never got around to using it when they sent it to me. All right, now we get into some Char Girls. We've got some Glow Wands. Definitely keeping the Glow Wands. This gold one is in the shade called Gold Goldgasm. And then this one is the um, Medium Talk. Medium Pillow Talk? Yeah, the Medium Pillow Talk one. These are amazing, love them both. So keeping both. And we've got a Danessa Myricks. This is her Lux Cream Palette. Sorry, off, uh, kind of off-centered. And this is in the um, shade called The Feminist. This is beautiful. You can use this on your lips, your cheeks. Um, you could use them on the eyes, but I reserve them for the lips and the cheeks. So definitely keeping this one. Then we have a couple of Colored Rain X Power products so i'm gonna declutter them because i got them because i love the show power and i was like oh i want to have something from the show power this one is too deep for me like when i've used it i was like it's beautiful but it's too deep 
and um, this highlighter is stunning. However, I'm gonna see if my sister wants this one. I think she would really enjoy both of them. Um, I have the Chantecaille. This is their hydrating gel cream blush in the shade called Lively. I I don't think I've ever used this, so I'm gonna keep it because I've heard amazing things about their blushes. I just haven't used, I think I might've used it once, but I can't tell you my thoughts. So I'm gonna keep it so I can at least form my thoughts and then decide what I wanna do. <laughs> Here is a highlighter stick by the brand called Thread. And this is in the shade called Loyal. I am gonna declutter this one. Did I even use it? I I don't think I've even used it before. Look at that. I don't think I've used it. So I'll declutter this one. Give it to a family member. I have uh, two bronzer sticks by LYS Beauty. They're really, really pretty. Very emollient, uh, rich bronzer sticks. So this one, the lighter one, is in the shade called Harmony. The lighter one I don't use as much as this deeper one in the shade called Courage. I'm hoping, yeah. Courage I use the most, so I am going to declutter Harmony because I don't use Harmony nearly as much as I use Courage. And then we have these, um, oh wait, I've got some liquid blushes by Surratt. Y'all, I hardly use these. Because when Surratt sent them to me, um, this was right after I had Riley and like, you know, if you've ever had a baby, life is so unpredictable afterwards. So I do want to keep these because I, I mean, I might have put one of these on, one of them on. Here are what the shades look like and I just feel like I didn't even attempt to show them love. So I'm going to keep them because I do want to try them and then, you know, if I try them and I'm like, okay, this is not going to work for me then. I'll declutter it. Here is a um, cream highlighter by Surratt in the shade called Diamante. These are so pretty. I, oh, I can't get rid of that. Oh, look at that. And it's still good. Still, still good. These are so beautiful. Especially if you like, if you're like me and you're sometimes like, I don't want to put makeup on, but I want to throw on a beautiful highlighter. This is great for that. It's great with makeup, but it's great for that too. This is a blush by Il Maquillage in the shade called Toxic, so keeping this. And then these are, um, what do they call them? A lip and cheek product by Wander Beauty. I'm gonna declutter them because I don't reach for them, but the print that like the idea behind it is like there's the cheek color and then the lip color is like right here, but you could also use this, the cheek color on your lips. That's a cute idea, but I don't use them, so decluttering. Mother Pats, definitely keeping this. This is her highlighter trio palette, so keeping this. Here is a blush palette by, um, oh, what's the brand? This year. Um, and this is a matte blush palette in the shade called Rose Coral. I am going to declutter it. I don't reach for it hardly, and I know... I have um, family members or friends that I can give this to and they'll get a lot more love out of it out of it than I do. Um, this is a Scott Barnes Body Bling Powder in the shade called Rose Gold. Um, I was gifted this by a brand and I've not used it, but I do wanna try this in the summer, like on my legs, my shoulders and things like that. So I am gonna keep this one. Here's another highlighter stick by Merit. This is in the shade called Bounce. And this is another beautiful one. Ooh, so this is Bounce. I mm, I like this shade by Merit over this shade. So I think I will declutter. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter this shade and keep that one because that, that one's definitely more my speed. And then here is a Chantecaille liquid highlighter in the shade called Brilliant. So once again, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I've used that at all. So I'm going to keep it. Um, here's another Surratt liquid highlighter or cream highlighter in the shade called Dior. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, look at y'all. These Surratt highlighters, like, don't sleep on them. I know people don't really talk about Surratt like that, but, like, they make some flawless products. This Dewy Stick by Ciante in the shade called Gleam. Oh my goodness me, I feel like I should declutter it. That's, I feel like I should, but I cannot. Do y'all 
see her. She's so silky and wet and like, I can't. I, 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 this might be a product I keep <laughs> and literally until it molds because it's so beautiful. Um, this is a, yeah, this is like a blush and highlighter duo by Wander Beauty. Um, I'm going to gift this. When I say gift it, I'm gonna see if a, one of my family members wants it or my girlfriends. Um, I'm gonna be visiting a bunch of my girlfriends next weekend and they were like, bring all your makeup that you don't want. So I'm gonna take all of this to them. But I think one of them will love that more than I've been. A Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter. These liquid highlighters are beautiful. This is the shade called Transcend. Definitely keeping this. I think their highlighters and their blushes are some of their best products from the brand. Oh yes, LYS Beauty. There. Oh, I forgot what this was. A bronzer. I thought this was a highlighter. So this is in the shade called uh, Faithful. And this one is the shade called Independent. So Independent is the lighter version, obviously. So I'm going to declutter Independent because I don't use this as a bronzer, but I am going to keep this one. Beautiful, silky formula. Um, and definitely can't go wrong with it. Oh, Natasha Denona, her cheek palettes. Can't declutter them. So this one is, which one? Love Glow, Keeping. The original one, Balloon Blush and Glow. I mean, I still reach for that one, regardless. Um, got this one. Now this I could declutter. It's the Love Cheek Duo. Um, I didn't really like this blush. The highlighter is beautiful, but the blush, I mean, I could just, you know, take that out and keep the highlighter. I, the, ugh, I feel like I need to keep it for like review purposes. Patrick Ta blushes, not going anywhere. They're absolutely amazing. Do we know her? There's the shade. This one is, oh, she's different. Now I would say, oh, she's different. It's probably like the one I use the least, but I still love it. So this formula is impeccable. Here's a Natasha Denona, I need a glow. This, I forgot about this one. Yeah, I'm keeping it. This one was beautiful. Um, look, oh, 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 Lord. I hope I didn't break anything. Now this is my least favorite cheek palette by Natasha. Like in theory, I really wanna declutter it, but for review purposes, I will keep it. But I, the only shading here I like is this one. The rest of these, well, this one's pretty, this one's pretty. These two are pretty, but mm -mm. I just didn't like that new formula she just she was experimenting with. And most definitely keeping this one. This probably is one of my favorite ones by her. I mean, the love that this has given, that I've given this one is just amazing. Um, okay, Pat Mava was definitely keeping. Pat's highlighters are actually some of my favorite formulas. I just don't reach for them. It's like, she comes up with so many. Like with her most recent launch, I didn't get the highlighters because I was like, I am barely touching the ones that I have. And I know I'm gonna enjoy the formula. I just like, I can't keep up in terms of, I can't use them enough. So I'm keeping her highlighters because I want to show them more love because they truly are beautiful. All right, so we've got, oh, a Surat Surat blushes. I'm most definitely keeping this. So this is a um, this is a palette, but you purchase the blushes individual individually. The, I can't even describe the formula of their blushes. You just have to try them. Silky is not even the proper term to describe them. The way that they look on the cheeks is amazing. They're flawless, and their blush formula is truly one of a kind. So definitely keeping that. And then I've got some Tom Ford products that I think I'm gonna declutter. Yeah, decluttering this one. This is the Illuminating Powder Duo in the shade Incandescent. It may not even be available anymore because I bought it from the um, cosmetic company outlet store. So gonna see if a family member or friend wants this. And this one, yeah, this was actually too deep for me. Um, the highlighter works, but this bronzer, I don't really like the way it looks on my cheeks. This is in the shade called Flicker. So I'm gonna declutter it as well. Oh, Galan Bronzer. This is in the shade 05. She's going nowhere. 
Love, love, love the Guerlain bronzer. And this is a Il Maquillage highlighter, beautiful highlighter. This is in the shade called Material Girl. It's a baked formula. Keeping that. And then um, I was sent some Jaclyn, uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics blushes, like blushes highlighters. So these are her, this is a highlighter called Turn On. I'm gonna declutter this because it's too deep as a highlighter. And when I would wear it, I would wear it as a blush, but my mom would love that. And then this is a highlighter in Go For Gold. Um, I'm gonna declutter this one as well because this tone of gold is not my favorite and it would look good on one of my friends. This is a highlighter and called, this is a highlighter in Exposure. This one is also, yeah, that's a little too deep for me as a highlighter. But like I said, I've got friends and family that could enjoy that. And this one is called Va Va Boom. This actually is a beautiful blush color, um, but it's a highlighter. So I'm gonna see once again if family or friends would enjoy that. And then lastly, we have a Laura Mercier highlighter in Indiscretion. And this is, oh, look how, first of all, look at the texture. I don't reach for it though, should I keep it? No, nah, I'm gonna declutter it. So just do a quick swatch. So that's really pretty. Um, but I feel like, like I said, friends and family that I know will enjoy this. Okay, this is done. I think we can go ahead and declutter this area up here and then um, maybe we'll break it, this part. Maybe we'll stop after this area and go over to my drawer in another video. Okay, so let's keep going. So we've got the newest Pillow Talk palettes by Charlotte Tilbury. Definitely keeping these. This is the lighter version and then we have the deeper one here. So these are really beautiful. I enjoy the formula a lot. This is a cheek palette from um, Florasis. This is really beautiful. I actually can wear all of the shades in this palette, um, but I primarily use these three. This powder is nice, but I don't really use it, but these three are really nice. So keeping that, here we have an Hourglass palette. Um, I think I want to declutter this one. This actually is pretty, I'm not gonna lie. This is their Ambient Lighting Edit and Universe Unlocked. I think this came out last year, I wanna say. So I'm gonna see if, um, like I said, a family member would like this one. And then I've got my Guerlain Meteorite. I was definitely keeping them. I think this one came out last year. Oh, love these things, they're so beautiful and like, I love to use them as finishing powder. So after I apply my makeup, taking one of the meteorites and like buffing all of it together, oh, stunning. Here's another um, meteorite by Guerlain, keeping that. I also love the scent. I know it can be a little overpowering, but <laughs> I love it. So keeping both of these, I probably should take them out of the box. I don't know why I leave. I think I keep them in the box because I can store them easier. Let's, let's, let's take them out the box. All right, we've got some Wayne Goss palette. So this palette is beautiful. Like it looks jarring, but it really is beautiful. And this highlighter can work for a really nice range of shades, but I am gonna declutter it and see if my family or friends would like it. Here is another one. Um, this one, that last one, if you wanted to know the shade, the shade of this last one is called Vivid Azalea, this one. This next one is called Coral Rose, and uh, I think I'll keep this one. I like the highlighter in that one a lot. This is a Blush Peony, and I'll declutter this one. This is like a slightly cooler version. It still works really nice on my complexion, but I'll declutter it. And then this, one right here is called Bright Peony. This is a beautiful one, but it is a little deep for my skin tone in terms of like this highlighter. So I'll declutter it. I've got some Jaclyn um, Blush and like Bronzer Duo. So this one is in the shade called Hot Lava and Cocoa Rich. I'll declutter this one. And this one is in Be Rouge in Espresso Shot. And I'm gonna declutter these two as well. 
Oh, Char Girl. So we've got some face palettes by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the lighter version, and this is called Instant Look of Love in a Palette, Pretty Blushed Beauty. I definitely didn't reach for this at all. So I am gonna declutter this one. I don't, I don't even know. Oh, you know what? I got a girlfriend. This will work better for her. Cause I was like, I can't get, I mean, I can use it, but it's just, too, it's really light. And then this is the deeper version. I will keep the deeper version because I do like these tones better. This one is in the shade called Glowing Beauty. Really pretty. Here is, oh, Char Girl's Love Gasm. The love I've given this one, most definitely keeping this one. It's discontinued, which I wish she wouldn't. She, I wish she'd bring it back. Here's another instant look in a love palette um, called Gorgeous Glowing Beauty. It's one of my favorite ones. It's so beautiful. So definitely keeping this. And then, oh, oh my gosh, this Becca Chrissy Teigen palette. Do y'all remember this? Like, do y'all remember this? This shade of highlighter, Beach Nectar, I wish Becca would have came out with the individual shade because it's been for this one highlighter shade that I have kept this palette. Like this, oh, can y'all see it? Oh, you don't really, you can't really see it. Oh, I just feel like I should keep it, but I am gonna declutter. Oh, it just makes me wanna cry. I don't wanna declutter it. I gotta put this over in the maybe pile. I just feel like I need another year with her because like all jokes aside, I still use it. <laughs> It's so pretty. Here is Jaclyn's um, highlighter palette in the shade called The Flash. I got the deeper one. I felt like the deeper one was a little too deep. And then I bought this one. And I mean, I can use them. I, I'm gonna keep this because I feel like I can, I can get some use out of these. The formula is stunning, top notch. Oh, this is another nostalgic palette for me. The BH Cosmetics Glowing and Grease palette. Y'all, oh, this is this is gonna be a hard one to part with. I think I need one more, one more round with it. I think this one is still available too. You can purchase it from Ulta or their website. But the blushes, the highlighters, I mean, yeah, I can't declutter it. This, that one, y'all, don't sleep on it. Too Faced Sugar Peach. Face and Eye palette. I really enjoy this. This is a good one. Doesn't smell like peach anymore. It used to smell like peach. Um, I'm gonna declutter it. I think someone else would love it more than me. Oh, oh, now I know if you've been in the beauty space for a hot minute, you remember this one. I was, you know, when I was thinking about this declutter, I was like, Chelsea, I think it's time. I think we can let her go and I agree I'm gonna let this one go I've been keeping it literally for nostalgic purposes but I can let her go um these are two palettes from Florace's that they sent um these are actually eyeshadow palettes with like a blush in the middle so I'm gonna keep it because I haven't that first one I just showed you I didn't even use it yet I've used this one the eyeshadows are actually not that bad and I've kept them over here because I've had no space in my eyeshadow area so I'm just showing them to you but I am gonna keep them you'll um, see them again when I get to my eyeshadow declutter here is Pat McGrath's Bridgerton cheek palette I think the blush broke yeah the blush broke in this one um, I will probably throw out the blush just I mean, not the blush the highlighter I'll throw out the highlighter but I'll keep the palette because it's pretty and I wish, I mean, I might honestly try to, I think I'm gonna try to like press the highlighter in because there's a lot of that highlighter left. Yeah, I'm gonna try to press the highlighter in so I can keep it. Liquid Bronzer by uh, She Glam in the shade called Terracotta. And then this is a blush in the shade called Devoted. These are really great, so I'm gonna keep them. I have um, two more blushes by She Glam, this one and this one, and this is a highlighter. So. Keeping these, these are some really great products and they're super affordable, like very affordable. All right, Danessa Myers Lightworks palette. I mean, she ain't going nowhere. Definitely keeping. You already, if you saw my like uh, powder, primer, concealer, declutter, you already saw these. I just didn't have space for them. So I'm gonna move these up over here. So I have two more Guerlain bronzer so i have this one this is in the shade called zero five this is the natural version of it so i'm keeping it i am low-key addicted to the guerlain bronzers this one is in the shade zero three this came out holiday last year 
keeping it because I love it. I have some Tower 28 cream blushes and I am going to declutter them because I don't really reach for them. They're really beautiful and like dewy on the cheeks, but um, just don't reach for them. So golden hour and happy hour. So I'll see if some loved ones would like it. Here is the Chantecaille bronzer in Goa. Definitely keeping it. It's a really beautiful bronzer, gelée type of bronzer. We've got some cream products by the brand called Minori. So they're new to the uh, community. I think they launched about a year ago and they've got some really nice products. Like if you like subtle makeup, so like this highlighter is really beautiful. I'll swatch it really quick. Beautiful cream highlighter, but it's not gonna be overly pigmented, but it's gonna work great with like just, you know, subtle everyday makeup their philosophy is they want to make products that are going to enhance your beauty but not like you know cover you up this is a cream blush in the shade called scarlet so i love the highlighters i love the highlighters the blushes are kind of muted so i think i'm going to declutter the blushes they're they're pretty but they're just muted um i'd like for them to be a little bit more pigmented so this is the shade called orchid and this is the shade called Scarlet. So keeping the highlighters, decluttering the blushes. I have this Christian Louboutin blush and highlighter palette. It's beautiful, definitely overrated like for the price, but I'm keeping it because I like it. Um, definitely not one that I'm gonna say, go out and get. Oh no, oh, I hope I didn't break this. This is a Surratt blush. Oh, whew. didn't break it. So this is the Surratt Blush and Highlighter in the shade 127. Love, not Surratt, Suku. Oh my gosh, Suku. Love these, so keeping it. I was so afraid it broke. Shark Girls um, Bar Highlighter. I think this is discontinued, but it's beautiful. Definitely keeping it. Here's another Suku Blush. And this is a really pretty one as well. So I'm gonna keep that. And then Charlotte Tilbury's um, Film Star Bronzing Glow. I'm gonna declutter this one. So when I bought this one, I wanted the lighter one. I really like the tones of the highlighter better, but I knew that the bronzer wouldn't work for me. I don't really like this bronzer. This highlighter is okay, but like we can, we can part with this one now. I've, I've made peace with it. <laughs> it is okay to part with it. Oh, I have another Esam highlighter. Okay, here's another Esam highlighter in the shade called Legendary. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Give it away to a loved one. Oh, I used to love this highlighter by Mother Pat. Divine Rose, definitely keeping it. It's a beautiful pinky highlighter. Here is Pat McGrath's Paperweight. I don't even have to look at it. This is called Champagne Gold. This is so heavy. I, and I actually don't want it anymore. I'm gonna declutter it, see if someone else would like it. It's pretty, but that is such a paperweight. Um, this is Lancome. This is a, it's their blush in capitals. And this is the shade called Je M'appelle Rose. I don't think I've ever used this. Let me show y'all. Yeah, never used it. I'll see if someone else would like it. I'm gonna declutter it. We have another Il Maquillage Baked Blush in the shade, I mean highlighter in the shade called, no, bronzer. This is Back to Black to Baked Bronzer, so keeping it. And Nessa Myrick's In Light Powder. I have not tried this one yet. Um, it's in the shade called Gotcha Glow, but it looks stunning, so. Maybe I'll wear this today. I've got a cream blush by Melt, and this is the shade called Golden Hour. Definitely gonna declutter it. Um, I found these cream blushes very underwhelming, very. Maybe it was the shade I got, but it didn't do much for me. Here is a Kostas bronzer in the shade called Medium. I'm gonna declutter this one because I used the deeper shade more than this one. Then we have, oh, these products. By the brand saint they sent over so this is a highlighter in the shade called 20 24k glow this highlighter is, highlighter is actually really pretty um it's a, like a nice subtle highlighter um i am going to declutter it though let me just get through all of them this is another 
powder in the shade called Golden. It's like a pressed powder. Didn't reach for it too much, so I'm gonna declutter that. And then this is another pressed powder in the shade called Pecan. It's a little deeper, but um, they, they were nice powders, just ones that I didn't find myself reaching for. A blush in the shade called Spice Cinnamon. I'm gonna see if my mom would like this one. Shantakai, this is their, oh, Perfect Blur Finishing Powder in the shade called Medium Deep. I do like this one. Um, I actually use this one as a bronzer. Hmm. I'm gonna declutter this one because I'm gonna keep the lighter one. I like this one. I use it as a bronzer, but I really like it as an actual face powder. And so I'm gonna declutter this one and keep the lighter one that I have. This is a declutter. It's the RMS Beauty Radiance Locking Primer. It's okay. I've used it a couple times, but you know, didn't really tickle my fancy. So declutter bill. Okay, these stick highlighters by Dibs Beauty are stunning. This is Rose Goals and Gold, Good Life Gold. These are stunning. I love these in the summer. Look at that, so pretty. And it's by uh, Courtney Shields. She's a creator on Instagram. So definitely keeping these and they smell delicious. They smell so good. <laughs> smell like cookies, they smell really good. These are the Dibs Beauty Bronzer and Blush Stick Duos. So this is one bronzer, one, oh, easy. This is one bronzer and blush duo. And then this is another bronzer and blush duo. These actually are like really nice. Um, hmm, do I wanna keep it? That's the question. I do wanna keep it, I do. I'm not ready to part with them yet. I enjoyed them a lot in the summer. Um, Cause I think that's around the time that the brand launched last year, I wanna say. Or did they come out this year? I can't remember when they came out, but I'm gonna keep them. I do like them. Alrighty, Ashanti Sharif sent over a setting spray. Um, and it's nice. I don't really use it too much, so I'm gonna see if a family member would enjoy it. And then this is a makeup fixer by Inglot. I have never used this. I don't know. I don't even know what this is. It's a makeup fixer. I'm gonna have to look this up, but I, I'm gonna declutter it because I don't I have never used it. But I'm gonna look it up so I can at least tell somebody else how to use it. Um, this is an Il Maquillage Hydrating Setting Spray, keeping this. Oh, I've had this for so long. Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. I used to love this. As you can see, I did use it a lot at one point, but I'm a declutter it. I don't reach for it anymore. Um, this is a Wander Beauty Glow Getter. If you want a dewy mist, this is it. So it's got oil in it, um, and this joker gives you the dew. I'm gonna declutter it. I don't use it anymore. Um, but I have used it and I did enjoy it. Aw, Too Faced Hangover setting spray. Oh, this is the primer. Yeah, primer setting spray. Decluttering. I got a lot left. So I'll see if somebody else would like it. Oh, Char Girl, her setting spray. So keeping this, I used to stand for the setting spray and then I stopped using it. I think I just found other setting sprays, um, but I do like it. And then this one by Desi, this is my, did I purchase this again? This might be the second bottle of it, of it that I purchased. I loved this setting spray. Um, I'm gonna declutter this one. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter it, but this is a really good one. It's good, it is good. Um, Shanta Kai C Screen um, SPF. So this one is reef safe, non-nano zinc, water resistant, family friendly. Um, and I actually do use this when we go to the beach, especially if I'm like, if I know the girls are like rushing to get in the pool or the water, um, this is good. So I am going to keep this one. I didn't really know where to put it. So that's why it's over here, but I'm going to take it upstairs. This Olay Mist, gonna declutter it. It's a hydrating essence and I was just influenced to buy it. <laughs> Um, I bought this one off of a recommendation of a celebrity makeup artist. It was like, oh, it makes your skin so dewy looking in the summer and it has SPF. So I'm going to keep it obviously because, you know, can never, never have enough SPF, but I'm just going to move it upstairs. And then, oh, y'all remember the Hourglass Veil setting spray? I got a lot left in this. I'm going to declutter it, but I'm going to give it to family and hopefully they will want it. Okay. NARS 
cream bronzer definitely keeping this this is in the shade called laguna definitely love this one so pretty and then of course chanel this is in the deeper shade love this one as well keeping it for sure and then we've got a couple of bronzers by Star Girl. So this is the medium one. This is the cream bronzer in the medium one. And I have the deeper one. I do wear the deeper one more, but I do enjoy both of them. So I'm gonna keep both. This is a Tom Ford bronzer. I'm gonna declutter it. I finally realized, you know, it's not the best bronzer for me. This is in the shade Terra. I mean, it actually does a little something to my skin, but in all honesty, this is too light. And Charlotte bronzer powder. So this is the lighter one. And I am gonna declutter the shade medium because this one is kind of light and I don't use it. <clears throat> but definitely keeping her deeper one because this is the one that I use the most and I really enjoy it. And then lastly, we have her highlighter that I, I don't even think I used it at all. It's her Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. It came out last year. Y'all, it doesn't even look like I touched it. Sad. I'm keeping it because it's beautiful. I just need to use it. All right, guys, let's round all this together so we can see what we're decluttering and keeping. I'll be right back. So this is all that I'm keeping over here. And then this is what I'm decluttering. But the majority of my declutter is in this box here. So we definitely got rid of more than just what you see here. But I am very proud of myself. So this is two thirds of the declutter. I'm gonna put this last one in another video because this is just a lot. And these are products that I actually really like. So I know it's gonna take me a little longer to get through these because I, I have more attachment to them. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy this declutter and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.